August 3rd, 1907. For two weeks, I have probed every crack looking for the secret entrance. Now, I think that I have found it. Dare I enter? To the sun, the pharaoh's spirit returns with the dawn. When I was a young boy, a vision came to me in a dream. Within these walls, I will become a god. My pyramid must stand forever. Its entrance shall be to the north and rise to the height of 100 men. The finest treasures of my kingdom will be entombed with me. I will need these in the life beyond. My spirit will return each morning to rest in my body. Therefore, embalmers must preserve my remains to make me look as in life. My pyramid will be a beacon to the sun god Ra, my true father. It must be finished during my lifetime. A master builder will come from a foreign land. I am Ra, 
It was I who brought light and life to Egypt. You must see and understand the work of my people. Learn their tasks. Once you have proof that you own their knowledge, return here and present that proof to Anubis, judge of souls and deeds. Many like yourself have sought the Pharaoh's dream and failed. Watch for this scarab as you learn the trades of ancient Egypt. She is the symbol of my soul and can carry objects and help you to acquire knowledge. Seek the symbol of Isis to enter the past. I am Anubis. Messenger between earth and sky, guardian of the Pharaoh's dream. Is the Pharaoh's dream what you seek? Very well. The way to the burial chamber has been sealed for thousands of years. Challenge the past at your peril. Perhaps you can master the tasks of construction. I will be here to judge your skill. Return with proof, or you will be entombed forever. You must quarry blocks for the pyramid. See to it that those you meet have the proper tools to accomplish their tasks. Look to your elders to help gain your bearings. And remember, the entrance of the pyramid must face north. The site of the pyramid must be level. Now listen closely. You shall find success when you learn that there is order in all things. You have earned the right to enter my realm, the sky. To return here, seek my face in the colors of dawn. My symbol will mark your passage back to the sky. <laughs> I am the Scarab, and I can help you. Come to me, if you want a clue. Grains of food that I will eat. Give some to me, receive a treat. A treat's a clue for you, you see. There's some for you and some for me. Bye-bye. 
Bye. Bye bye. Over there, you big lizard. Swallow the old man. Hide. Someone's coming. Don't let them see us. I'm looking for my master, the astronomer. He could be in great danger. You see, he's blind and he's lost in this marsh. To make matters worse, I think there's a crocodile chasing him. Do you really want to risk your life looking for him? If you do, it would be best if I followed you, uh, just for your safety. Astronomer, benevolent master of mine. Am I ever glad to see you alive? There were these terrible evil men. They were trying to kill you with a crocodile. I, of course, had nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's dark and lonely in here. <laughs> For finding me, whoever you are, lead us out of here before that blasted lizard eats us all. I'll follow right behind you. I will help you at the wall. Let us find the north. Justice does have a way of seeking its own remedy. You will now replace my assistant. Second in command to me, the Royal Astronomer. Lesson one. How long is a year? Do you know? <laughs> well, I do. 365 days, I stood on the capstone of a step pyramid looking to the east each morning for a year plotting the sun's course. 
staring into that blazing fireball day after day, year after year, till my eyes poof. <clears throat> the entrance to the pyramid must face to the north. From the pharaoh's tomb, a passage will be built leading upwards to the northern sky. His spirit will ascend along this passage and into the sky. Because the stars circle the north, you can find true north between where a star rises and sets. <laughs> Watch for a recognizable star rising in the east. Place a stone on the wall where the star rises. may deceive me, but the stars never lie. You have found true north. Ma'at, goddess of balance, truth and justice, touch our minds. By 
my sighting through the top of my staff and marking the rising and setting of a star. You have discovered the point around which all stars rotate. True North. Here is your scroll. True North has been found. You have proven your understanding of the sky's mystery. The Pharaoh's soul will be forever grateful as it ascends northward into the sky. Gather your scroll and continue your quest. You found True North. Your work has been good. Deep down in my heart, I knew that you would. My symbol will mark your passage back to the sky. I am Venomar. I honor your arrival. The glorious Pharaoh, for whom I am regent, has been expecting you. Our Pharaoh has decided that his people will build him a pyramid. Not an entirely original idea, perhaps, but it will be... monumental. Yeah. Is this supposed to be food? Well, well, what do we have here? Some sort of writing instrument? And these sheets must be used for writing? They remind me of that, up there. Oh, you will not mind if I accept this as a gift, will you?
I am Dandara, sister to the pharaoh, the chosen of Isis, keeper of magic. Oh, thank the gods she's gone. That was Venema you met. She is acting regent for my young brother, the pharaoh. You have come to help build the pyramid. My brother foresaw your arrival in the stars. You are welcome at my brother's pyramid, master builder. We are here to find the quarry gang. My quarry men were working here when one of the other quarry entrances suddenly collapsed around them, trapping them behind a wall. They won't be able to come out unless we find a way to break down the wall and set them free. Grains are food that I will eat. Give some to me, receive a treat. A treat's a clue for you, you see. There's some for you and some for me. We'll be a ready team if you hold the spike. Thanks for rescuing us. We were carving out stone blocks when the other side of this quarry suddenly collapsed and trapped us behind this wall. Now, if you hand each of us the correct tool, we'll get right to work. Even in my sleep, I see the perfect corners of a box. I want a tool that's rugged enough to take a bite out of solid rock. My tool is made only of wood, but its shape divides and conquers. I can break a boulder from a mountain with it. <laughs> the tool I use is heavy and strong. I can pound a chisel with it all day long. Now that we have our proper tools, we can begin to cut rock. I will use my square to check the corner. I will set my chisel. And I will drive the chisel down with my mallet. I will moisten my wooden wedge so it'll expand and break apart the rock. <laughs> you serve well as gang leader. Even a monument which touches the sky must begin with a single solitary block. This is the first of a great, great many. You have learned to quarry stone, gather your scroll, and continue your quest.
give to Anubis the scroll that you hold, and you will receive the reward he's foretold. My symbol will mark your passage back to the sky. Hey, distant traveler. Someone scattered our tools all over the place last night while we were sleeping. Would you please find the right tools for leveling the site and put them in order on the tool mat? If you can do that, we'll be able to get to work immediately. Oh, oh, hand them to us if you want to know about them. Before we can start building the pyramid, we have to make the entire site perfectly flat and level. It is the Pharaoh's wish that this pyramid be a beacon to the gods in the sky. I bet you've never seen anything like it. Hand me a tool so I can tell you if it belongs on the mat. The surveyors have cleared a tremendous site. This pyramid will be colossal, Snake Eyes. Hand me a tool so I can tell you if we need it. I hear that we will soon be leveling the site, stranger. It takes a special kind of worker, that would be me, with special kinds of tools, that would be over there. Hand them over if you want to know what they do. <laughs> I think you've been misled, stranger. This tool will not help you level the foundation. That's not going to be much use around here, Snake Eyes. Are you considering some gardening? <laughs> I don't know who sold you this, but I wish I did, Distant Traveler. You could chip rock with this hammer, but first, you'd need a chisel. A hammer is the very last tool we'd use for leveling. Try not to flatten your foot with that. You could pound a chisel with that hammer. Or maybe you could sell it to me. But I don't have any money to buy it with. Sorry. By the way, the hammer is the very last tool that goes on the mat. Are you looking for the tool, Smith? That scoring tool looks like it'll do. Hmm, you could score rock with a tool like this. Oh, if I become rich, I'd love to have a good set of tools. You could mark the water's level with this tool. Or you might paint your lips with it. <laughs> I've never had the chance to chisel the foundation, but I saw a Nubian man do it once. It takes a steady hand. Planning some, uh, sculpture, Snake Eyes? After you find one level surface, make the rest meet it with this chisel. <laughs> I 
think you've been misled, stranger. This tool will not help you level the foundation. That's not going to be much use around here, Snake Eye. Are you considering some gardening? <laughs> I don't know who sold you this, but I wish I did, Distant Traveler. Not right yet. Now that you have found the necessary tools, we can level the foundation. I will fill the trough. After the liquid rises to a level height, I'll use the scoring tool to mark a cutting line. With the hammer and chisel, I can cut the rock away until the foundation is level. I'll help him with the bucket. I'll help him with the scoring tool and the hammer. You have supervised the leveling well. Take this scroll as proof of your skill. You have found success in leveling the foundation. This solid base provides stability. Perhaps your pyramid will stand forever. Gather your scroll and continue your quest. The scroll that you've earned by leveling the site, you must give to the gods. They will speak with delight.
have something for you. Here is some grain, your reward for completing the tasks we assigned you. You use the grain as payment or in trade. In the world of the Pharaoh's dream, years have passed since you were sent to carry out the first tasks. You have found the north and leveled the pyramid site. Quarrying has begun. Could you be the one? The master builder of a child's dream. A foreigner of strength and will. Tomb must be made secure from those who would seek to plunder it. An ancient design will serve you well if you take the time to study it. Massive stones travel down the Nile, destined for the pyramid. See to it that they are unloaded from the boats. An ancient board game will allow you to take possession of the blocks. The pharaoh's sarcophagus must be lowered into its proper place. Weigh the advice you receive carefully before you act. You know, this sarcophagus will never fit through the passageway to the tomb. You've got to lower it in there somehow, before the tomb is roofed. I saw some architects over there. If you don't know how to lower the sarcophagus into the tomb, maybe they can help. And be clever, my friend. To lower that sarcophagus, take advantage of Egypt's natural resources and throngs of dedicated workers. Make it easy on yourself. Did you ever notice how huge beams of wood burn away to, well, almost nothing? That's where I got the idea. Put some beams in the tomb to build a platform, then toss in a little kindling, put the sarcophagus on top and light the wood on fire. The sarcophagus will be lowered to the tomb floor in a flash! Long timbers are the way to go. Build a boom using wood as a lever, and hang a rope down from the top. 
lower the sarcophagus into the pit using stones as your counterweight. Not bad work. Looks like the tomb's ready for a roof, right on time. You were clever, using the sand to lower that coffin. Hold on to this scroll. All should know of your growing skill. You have safely lowered a massive stone sarcophagus into the tomb. A position it must occupy forever. Gather your scroll and continue your quest. Ah, I see you know how to use some old-fashioned common sense. Now we can finish constructing the tomb chamber and enclose the sarcophagus in a room of solid stone. I'm going home for a well-strained ale and the clutch of pickled croc eggs I've been saving. Yes, I know you've come for my stone. It's yours. If you can beat me in a game of Senate. It took me 30 days to bring this stone from the south in Aswan. I have traveled so far with it that I... Well, I simply can't part with it just like that. Play me in a game of Senate. Thank you for playing Senate with me. I know that my stone must be used as the gods intended. I have grown fond of it, though. Let's see if you can win it from me.
If you want help with the rules, check the scroll next to the Senate board. You look as though you're good with games. If you're planning to spend much time in Egypt, you'll have to learn to play Senate. Play the dark pieces. Go ahead and take the first move. Your goal is to move all your pieces off the end of the board before I do. You can move your pieces from left to right on the back row, and right to left on the middle row, and left to right on the front row. You cannot move pieces off the board until all of your pieces are out of the first row. Toss the throwing sticks to determine how many squares to move. Count the number of light sides that appear face up on the sticks. If one, two, three, or four light sides appear, then that is how many squares to move. However, if no light sides appear, then your roll is worth six squares. Notice that there is no way to roll a five. If you throw a one, four, or six, you move your piece and get another turn. If you throw a two or three, you move a piece and your turn ends. Two pieces cannot occupy the same square. If you land on a square occupied by my piece, my piece is under attack and must be moved to the square your piece came from. If you put two of your pieces together side by side, they protect each other from being attacked. If you line up three of your pieces in a row, this forms a block. My pieces cannot pass your block and they can't attack it either. If you can't move any pieces forward, you must move one backward. If you move backward and your piece lands on a square occupied by my piece, my piece moves forward to the space your piece just left. If you cannot move a piece forward or backward on a roll, your turn ends. Square 27, the water square, is a trap. A piece that lands on this square must go back to square 15 in the middle of the board. If square 15 is occupied, then you must move back to square 1. If square 1 is occupied, your piece goes to the unoccupied square nearest to square 1. There are three squares with symbols in them that surround the water trap. These are safe squares, and your piece cannot be attacked here. If you land on a safe square that is occupied, you move back to the nearest open square. You can then use the remainder of your throw on another piece. If you move a piece off the bottom row, then that piece is taken off the board. If you roll a number greater than needed to move a piece off the board, you may use the remainder of that row to move another of your pieces. I so wanted to finish this game. Are you sure you must go? Take the piece on square 10 and move it to square 11. Then throw the sticks. Take the piece on square 10 and move it to square 11, then throw the sticks. Who is the god of luck in this land? That throw gets you another toss.
It is my move now. That move doesn't work. My two pieces are protecting each other so you can't attack. Try another piece. Who is the god of luck in this land? That throw gets you another toss. That move doesn't work. My two pieces are protecting each other so you can't attack. Try another piece. Who is the god of luck in this land? That throw gets you another toss.
It is my move now. Who is the god of luck in this land? That throw gets you another toss.
Who is the god of luck in this land? That throw gets you another toss. You can't jump on your own back. Try something else. It is my move now. God of luck in this land, that throw gets you another toss. Who is the god of luck in this land? That throw gets you another toss. It is my move now.
too bad. Sorry, but you'll have to move back. Sorry, but you'll have to move back. Are you sure you want to make that move? Ha! Trapped! You must start that piece! It is my move now. Well done, friend. I know you're going to love this block as much as I do. And listen, I have no hard feelings about being beaten in a game of Senate. I wasn't really planning to hold up delivery of this stone if you had lost that game. It's crucial that all these stones make the trip from the quarries to the building site. I just wanted some conversation after that long, lonely journey down the Nile. From now on, all the stones will be unloaded without delay. You have my word on that. The workers have safely unloaded the stone block from the boat, and a thousand more boats will carry many more stone blocks down the Nile to build this pyramid because of you. Great burden has been lifted. Gather your scroll and continue your quest.
Come here. Yes, yes, you. Come here. You're late. Almost all of the tombs of the past pharaohs have been pillaged and ravaged. We can't let that happen to our pharaoh. Hm. Well, I have a model of the security plan. The great architect Hanuk designed this system himself. I hope it makes sense to you. The security chief who began on this project was crushed by a slab of granite. That's why we want a model. Show me how those barricades work before we proceed. Those darn portcullises could crush an elephant. Find the model and build its walls. Set them up so they won't fall. Excuse the security chief. He was called away, suddenly, on an urgent matter. Hmm. He left this scroll for you. Your cleverness serves you well. You have solved the puzzle of the portcullises. These eternal gates will protect the pharaoh's tomb from robbers and thieves. Gather your scroll and continue your quest. have underestimated you. Your grain, human. The story unfolds. Your success provides a glimpse to the future of the Pharaoh's dream. Safe passage will be granted to the courageous, the honest, the chosen. Countless blocks must move from the quarries to the pyramid site, and yet each one must be accounted for. The workers must be organized into gangs, and each must have enough to eat and drink. 
My people are not slaves. They must be treated humanely. There you go, come on, move that zone over there. The pyramid must not be completed. My country's resources are precious. Very precious. I cannot endorse wasting them on the whim of a child. With every delay, the people grow impatient with the pharaoh. My plan is to divert the water. Reducing the spring floods to a trickle. When the people grow hungry, they will rebel against the pharaoh. Hmm. We could work together, you and I. I think you know what I mean. I do not forget those who have aided me. Each block from the quarry has been numbered. The number indicates where the block belongs. Make sure you put each one in its correct place. You can read the numbers, can't you? Once the workers are holding the rope, point to the space where the block is supposed to go.
Sometimes it's hard work. <sighs> Watch the numbers next time, all right? Correctly placed one block.
You've correctly placed two blocks. Correctly placed three blocks. Correctly placed four blocks. Return later. 
You've exhausted your team. You've correctly placed five blocks. Good work. I hope you perform as well at your next task. You have read the marks wisely and accounted for the stones. Many other stones will find their position at this building site. Because of your skill, not one stone will be misplaced. Gather your scroll and continue your quest. Sense trouble coming. If you're ever in need, give a tusk carving to the papyrus seller. She and I are friends. She knows how to find me. That will be our signal that you need help. We must provide these men with food and housing in exchange for their labor. Feeding them all a decent meal on schedule is a very burdensome task. That's where we need your help. Form each group by giving the men enough to eat and drink. Make sure you don't make them stand around too long or they'll fall asleep. The gang leader will let you know when he's ready for the next group. I need seven men with nimble legs. It's awful watching the rickety-legged ones end up under the blocks. Ha ha ha! I need nine with good strong arms to lever granite that just arrived. 
The art of efficient scheduling is difficult. You have served well. Well done. Hungry laborers have been fed and can work when they are needed at the pyramid building site. These workers will construct the Pharaoh's pyramid, raising it skyward to the height of a hundred men. Gather your scroll and continue your quest. I want to let you know how sorry I am for taking your bag. I know I shouldn't take what isn't mine. Please, allow me to return it. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye-bye, sucker. <laughs> some workers. Use it wisely. The years have treated you well, Master Builder. But will your future be as fortunate as your past? Let us see. Egypt is the blood of this land. Uh, often the grain has been watered with human blood. <laughs> there was a time when the life of the Pharaoh was presented to us, the gods of Egypt, as a gift. The divine man was killed with a cobra. His blood was used to water the earth. All of Egypt believed this pleased us. It was long ago. Now our people hold a ceremony with a cobra made of gold. This serpent's bite is a harmless trick. But beware the serpent not made of gold. Make certain that the blocks move aloft quickly enough. Remember, the pyramid must be finished in the Pharaoh's lifetime.
let me give you some advice. You need a sled to carry the stone blocks up the ramp. Why don't you look around for some construction materials? You know, wood boards and rope and things like that. Thanks for showing us how to build that sled. Now the workers can build more and use them to drag the stones up the ramp. And if a sled breaks down, we'll know how to fix it. By pounding his drum hard, the foreman can stop the workers from dragging a stone to the top. When the foreman starts playing the drum in his hand, men begin walking up the mud and the sand. The gang leader makes the workers become active and busy by pounding his drum. Blocks will move better over a slippery ramp. You've run out of water. You need to find more water close by or the work will slow down to a snail's pace. Don't bother trying to bring buckets of water from the Nile, Master Builder. That would take far too long. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled. But it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. Out of oil? It took dozens of balsam trees to make the oil you've used already. Yeah. <laughs>
Welcome! If you've come to buy ale, I'm afraid I can't sell you any today. I'm short-handed, you see. What I have is needed for the work, gangs. But you can make some yourself. I'll show you how. You can keep half of what you make, or I'll trade it for grain. I have many loaves of barley bread, fresh from our kitchen. You will tear the loaves of bread into pieces and put them into this mashing jar. It is already filled with water. When you've put enough bread into the jar, my boy will hop in and stomp the bread and water into a mash. When the mash is done, he will come out. You must put a strainer on the top of each jar. Beer mash is too thick, even for me. Then you ladle the mash into small jars. When the jars are filled, cover each with one of these clay stoppers. When all is done, patient one, we wait. You look like a patient worker. Would you like to make some ale? I'll gladly buy what you make, or you could sell it yourself. has fermented to collect that which is owed you. From the mysterious land of Nubia, I bring a special treasure for the discerning, intelligent buyer. This potion has many marvelous benefits. It can put hair upon your head, make your table full of bread, keep you far from evil's dread. Let me assure you, one sip can give you back your sight, protect your family from the night, even mend the serpent's bite. You have my word. Oh, Lotus Blossom, it is you. Mud is the oldest recipe for good skin. Leaves me as smooth as a well-plucked duck. <laughs> Ah, patient one. I hope you've had a chance to visit the building site and see all those thirsty customers. 
Uh, I mean workers, at the site of the pyramid. I hear their job is to drag blocks. Well done, patient one. I'll exchange what you've made for grain. Just hand it to me, or you can keep it. Ale from my shop is famous throughout Egypt. Has the smell of my fresh ale drawn you back here again? When all is done, patient one, we wait. Come back a little later, after... Congratulations! You've just brought a beautiful new batch of ale into the world. Has the smell of... When all is Can I offer you some Egyptian linen today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. You look like... 
like you could use some spices today. Would you like to offer a trade? Just put it on the stone next to my scales. I'm afraid you haven't offered enough for me to part with this valuable cinnamon. Do you have something else? The trade is acceptable. Take your spice. Mix this rosemary in ben tree oil and cook meat in it. <laughs> Great gods, yes! <laughs> Why do you try to take what isn't yours? In Nubia, we would never do that. Return again when you've had too much bland food. <laughs> ah, I see you couldn't resist the savory scent of these exquisite spices. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. The trade. Massage that fenugreek spice into the skin of a duck before you roast it. Or use my salt from Gebelane as a preservative. Return again. That is not enough. You have purchased the finest spices from Nubia. Please take them from the table. Use my parsley to season meat before you cook it. Or use parsley to freshen your breath after you eat. Return. That is not enough. You have massaged that fenugreek spice in return. You're Dendara's friend, aren't you? Did you hear the news? Headrest where the coronation ceremony is missing. Venom, the regent, has commissioned some artisans she knows to construct a new headrest. I wonder if it will be as beautiful as the old one Those are papyrus reeds behind me. If you want to try your hand at making papyrus, then go take a closer look. Don't you have anything to trade for my fine papyrus? I keep my records on papyrus, but other people use it for different things. I know a boat captain who sometimes stops here and buys papyrus. I wonder what he writes on his papyrus.
You see, the tough outer rind must first be peeled away. Cut the smooth inner pithy parts into strips. Arrange the strips of pith into two layers. One set horizontally, the next vertically. Cover the strips with linen and press them with a smooth stone. Your sheet of papyrus is done! Uh, not too bad, but the strips are not as even as I like. Oh, don't worry, the scribes don't know the difference. Fine work! I'll give you grain for it if you're looking for a trade, my little pretty. I can't take time to trade now! If you're trying to pass a message to Dandara, this isn't the right object. You didn't space the stems evenly enough. That's why there are holes in your papyrus. Thank you. 
can't take time to trade now. If you're trying to pass a message to Dendara, this isn't the right object. What do you offer for papyrus sheets? I can't take time to trade now. If you're trying... Something more? You can trade for such fine charms? Don't you have something more? I'm sorry we couldn't work out a trade. Please take back your barter before you go. <laughs> Come back and see me sometime. <laughs> When you can. didn't space the stems evenly enough. That's why there are holes.
but fine work. something more I'm sorry but that is not enough for a charm do you have something else don't you have something more <laughs> it's a deal take the one you like best from the basket Good fortune will surely be yours, honored visitor. <laughs> Come back and... I can offer lustrous red carnelian, rich green feldspar, and shiny black obsidian. I also have turquoise from Sinai, and deepest blue lapis lazuli from an Assyrian trader. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's not enough to buy a gem. Have you got something else to trade? Do you have a little more that you can offer? All right, that's a fair price. Take a gem from the table. It's yours to keep. I can offer lustrous... Again, uh, did you forget something? Or maybe you come back to buy my famous papyrus. Ah, a tusk carving. I will see to it that Vendara gets your message right away. She'll meet you at Vendara's sacred lake. I see you know who gives you the best deals in all of Egypt, my favorite friend. Welcome back. I wouldn't normally let my wares go for such a low price. But since you are my favorite friend, it's a deal. Take your potion from the counter, shrewd one. Wisdom and wealth will surely be yours, my lord. Uh, 
I can take no refunds. Go no further! Only the royal family and their guests may visit Venomar's sacred lake. Stand aside and let us pass, you oath. I am Dendara, sister to the pharaoh. The builder is my honored guest. Oh. <laughs> The lake is just a few steps further. I've always been curious about this place. Is a royal headdress. The cobra at the front signifies divinity. What is it doing here? What have you done to my lake? This place is sacred to the god Seth. How dare you divert his waters? So you pay homage to Seth? The traitor god who murdered his brother Osiris? We saw a royal headdress at the lake bottom. Surely that didn't belong to Seth. I wonder how it came to be there. Uh, I see nothing on this lake bottom but mud. You will suffer for this impertinence, Builder. We are enemies now, now and forever! <sighs> Let's go, before that crocodile regains his appetite.
I'm afraid the men have broken that. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some... I'm afraid the men have broken that sled. I'm afraid the men have I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood.
I'm afraid the men have broken that. the men have this job is well underway you have made it through one quarter of the work master builder I'm afraid the men have broken that sled. I'm afraid the men have broke. I'm afraid the men have broke. So far, so good. This work is halfway done. I'm afraid the men have bro- I'm afraid the men You certainly are determined, Master Builder. Keep working, you are already three quarters of the way finished. I'm afraid the men have broken.
Now we can drag all the stones up the ramps and make the pyramid touch the sky. Gangs of workers have hauled their heavy blocks up the ramps to have kept the men together to smooth their way. The pyramid grows, stone upon stone, layer upon layer. Gather your scroll and continue your quest. Well won. This task was no small challenge. Learn what you can with this. The limestone blocks are rising. Uh, toward the stars in the sky. All continues according to the design. A design which you guide with your steady hand, if you so choose. Your will shapes the world of the Pharaoh's dream. Especially now. Placing the capstone is a simple matter for one as experienced as you are now, wise builder. Just lift, lock, and lower in an orderly manner. The artisans need light to paint. Use the mirrors to illuminate the chambers and open your eyes to the unexpected. We managed to drag the capstone all the way up here on this sled. Now, we must remove the capstone from the sled and set it in the right position. But we must be careful. The capstone could tumble away. Now, I will place the blocks under that side. 
Now I will place the blocks under that side. Ah. The Pharaoh's tomb will be directly under the capstone. I can hardly believe I am so close to the resting place of a god. The Pharaoh's tomb will be directly... Now we've removed the sled from under the capstone. The stone is placed perfectly. Fine work. We will all be telling our grandchildren about this one day, stranger. The pyramid's crown, the capstone, towers over the dry desert sand and proclaims the greatness of the Pharaoh. Your work is nearing completion, but important challenges still await you. Gather your scroll and continue your quest. This capstone is just like the Ben-Ben stone, the first piece of land to emerge from the ancient waters. The Bennu bird flew and flew until it finally found the Ben-Ben stone and landed on it. That's how the whole world started. Thank you for helping us lower it into the spot it will occupy for eternity. Before time began, I soared over the waters of the noon. When at last I came to rest, it was upon a stone as solid as the Pharaoh's tomb. With my cry, I brought the world into being. Let this shape be a beacon to the sun for all eternity. When all is congratulate, well,
when all is Has the smell of my f When all That is not... That is not enough for my spice. The trade is... Use my parsley. Return again. I'm afraid. That is not enough. The trade. Massage that. Return a. Oh, oh. Do you have a little more that you can offer? Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Well. I can understand if you're attached to it. It is very nice. When all is I'm afraid I don't need that today, but I'll trade you for ale if you have any, or you can make some if you like.
when all is Congrats! That is n That is n The tray Massage Return Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh. Please be careful not to damage Northwind's collar with that thing. Do you have a little more that you... Do you have a little... Well... When all is That is n That is n The trade Use my Return again Do you have a little more oh, that oh. Well, I can understand Ah 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 Oh 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 That's a fair price Oh Oh I hope your new gem brings sparkle to your life Oh Oh
If I don't begin painting soon, I'll fall behind schedule. Take hold of the mirror and point me in the direction you want me to turn. Hey, who turned on the light? Get that slimy scoundrel out of the tomb. His presence desecrates this sacred space. And besides, he is stinking up the inner chamber. Find all of your writing implements have been stored safely. I have kept your bag here behind a stone. I tried out some things, of course. Please take it back, Master Builder. <laughs> You fools! I thought you picked up that drawing! Hmm, chances are good that no one will know how important it is. Still, it must not get into the wrong hands! Ah! Oh! Oh. Here, take the page! This gem must be worth a fortune! Okie dokie, let's go in there and position the mirror so the corridor isn't so dark, Snake Eyes. Thank you for providing a source of light. Now I can decorate the walls of the tomb. My art will make me immortal. Yes. Oh, let me see. Oh, do do do. 
<laughs> Looking good. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, indeed. Another masterpiece. <laughs> This is wonderful! Wonderful! Please accept this drawing as a gift. Excellent work, young one. Because of your skill, my light bathes the inner walls of the tomb. Now the artists can bring their vision to those in the life beyond. Gather your scroll and continue your quest. Thank you so very much. I wish you luck at your other tasks. Determination impresses me. This grain should prove a sufficient reward for your persistence. Time of life. The time of death. Recall the day Osiris died. Osiris, the husband of Isis. Osiris, king of the afterlife. Osiris loved Isis. He taught her people the tilling of soil, the growing of grain. In jealousy, his brother Set killed him and cut him into pieces and scattered his parts over the earth. Oh, how Isis did mourn. Isis searched the world. She found the scattered remains of her husband. With her magic, Isis brought Osiris back to life. But only for a heartbeat. It is the love of Isis that placed Osiris in the stars of the sky. It is the love of Isis that keeps Osiris alive in our hearts. The passage of life, the inevitable coming of death, has always been the path of all people. Another passing is now approaching. If you are skillful, the hieroglyphs will speak to you as if they were alive. Ceremonies are always eventful. Be prepared. The strangest objects may prove their worth. Trust the friendships you have built.
fast rider who came forth from Heliopolis. I have done no falsehood. O swallower of shades who came forth from the cavern, I have not stolen. O dangerous one who came forth from Rosette Jow, I have not killed men. O double lion who came forth from the sky, I have not destroyed food supplies. O flame which came forth backwards, I have not stolen the gods' offerings. May the eyes of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt Lord of two lands, Nima'at Re, open. So that he may see the Lord. When he crosses through the sky, and so that he may cause of the horizon. When he crosses through the sky, and so that he may cause the son of Ra, Ka en Ra, to rise as the god. Lord of Eternity, may the eyes of the King of Upper and Lower Egypt, Lord of Two Lands, Nima'at Re, open, so that he may see the Lord of the Horizon when he crosses through the sky, and so that he may cause the Son of Ra, Ka en Ra, to rise as the God, Lord of Eternity. I have given the beautiful horizon the two lands of Egypt. To Kahenra. And he has accepted the two lands. May you unite with him, receive his blessing. May you unite with him, receive his blessing. This is my gift to you. This is my gift. May you unite with him. This is my gift. I have given the beautiful horizon, the two lands of Egypt, to Kahen Ra, and he has accepted the two lands. May you unite with him, receive his blessing. This is my gift to you. May you unite with him, receive his blessing. This is my gift to you. Well done, Traveler. You have correctly unscrambled the hieroglyphs. Take this scroll as your fitting reward. I have bestowed my blessing on this mighty structure. The gods are well pleased with this tomb, the Pharaoh's eternal home. Out of chaos, order has come to the pyramid, the eternal tomb of the pharaoh. From a confused jumble of hieroglyphic fragments, you have assembled the priestess incantation. 
She has delivered her blessing. The path to completion grows short. Gather your scroll and continue your quest. Your wisdom has brought you far on this quest. You've been true to yourself and done your best. My time as your ally has come to an end. There is nothing so precious as trust in a friend. My brother's coronation is about to begin. The torch of power will finally be passed from Venomar's hand to the hand of the true pharaoh. Soon the master builder will arrive. Though a foreigner, the master builder has been granted the honor to see my brother receive the crown of Egypt. Combat demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> Ceremony. I've looked forward to this event since you were a young boy. Darling little whiskers, <laughs> you are indeed coming of age. I still don't trust her. Where is her other cousin? The tall one. Someone has tried to kill my brother. Who would want to prevent him from assuming the throne of Egypt? If only I knew who was behind this plot. Master Builder, do you have any clues? The traders of Nubia told me Venomar was collecting snakes. The scribes recorded evil family members who are thieves, assassins, trainers of serpents and cousins of ill repute, 
all on the royal payroll. A well-known face, though not so familiar as that of your wealthy relation. It was you, Venomar, who drew up the plans for this deadly false crown. You who trained the snake. You who disposed of the true crown in your sacred lake. The gods will judge you harshly. Viper! Arrest this traitor! What a world! What a world! Where a little builder like you could destroy my beautiful wickedness! I will get you in the next world, Master Builder! What a world! Tonight, when you meet him in the afterlife, Anubis will taste your heart. The wound is not so deep. Long ago, I heard of a powerful potion that can cure snake bites, but... Oh, Master Builder, please, there must be something you can do. These potions do not work immediately, but they do work. I'm sure my brother will recover. You have my thanks, Master Builder. Thank you for saving my brother, the Pharaoh. Without your quick thinking, he would have died. Take this scroll. that extends to matters beyond the construction of earthly monuments. You prevented the cobra's poison from killing the pharaoh and gave unified Egypt a decade more of his glorious rule. Now his reign is ended and you must prepare the pharaoh's body for a triumphant entry into the next life. The very purpose of the pyramid is ready to be fulfilled. Follow the ritual to correctly prepare the body of the one who will live for eternity. Ad 
Daba, priest to the Pharaoh, give you the most honored task. I present our Lord's body for embalming. As a surgeon, I climbed the mountains of Anatolia in the Near East to treat a Hittite princess. But nothing pays as well as assisting with mummification. As head embalmer, the honor goes to you, dream seeker. There are many important organs in the body of a human. Each belongs to a god. One organ must not be removed. It belongs to Anubis. Another organ is without purpose and must be thrown away. Well done, dream seeker. The skull is empty. Now the pharaoh can embark on his journey into the afterlife with a clear head. His head certainly was full of nasty stuff. Our Lord's car, his spirit, will return to rest in this body each dawn. Therefore, his body must be preserved and protected for all time. Well, I'm certainly ready for some fresh air. As head embalmer, the honor goes to you, dream seeker. There are many important organs in the body of a human. Each belongs to a god. One organ must not be removed. It belongs to Anubis. Another organ is without purpose and must be thrown away. You have extracted the intestines. That was a nice, neat operation. Krebs and an F. Lord of the sky, protect these sacred intestines. Hmm, stomach. I once found a dead rat in one. Now, I'll have a child swallow a dead mouse if she has a bad sore throat. But how such a thing ended up in a stomach, who can imagine? I call on you, Duamtef, beast of the desert. 
protect this stomach. Hmm, the liver. There are many who relish the liver of cows. I am not among them. Imseti the wise, watch over this liver. The lungs, good work. You are an excellent embalmer. Happy the clever, guard our pharaoh's lungs. <laughs> Natron does the job well. They mine this grainy substance along the Nile. If it weren't so vile to the taste, Natron could preserve meat for long journeys. These have been a long 40 days for me. Barely enough time to get home and see my family before I had to return. The body appears to be well dried. The time of wrapping has come. This world will never see the Pharaoh's flesh again. saw in his dream of old, the one who built the pyramid and helped him achieve eternity. Please, take this scroll as a token of honor. At long last, the Pharaoh is ready for the journey that lies ahead, the journey into new and everlasting life. You have faithfully carried out all our instructions, young one. My light will shine upon you and brighten your path forever. Now that the mummification is complete, the mummy can be placed into the sarcophagus. His tomb is complete. The Pharaoh will live. Forever!
You have passed the test. You have made the measure. I have judged your soul. Your heart is as strong as your mind. Of your wisdom, there is no doubt. For thousands of years, we waited and watched many. I did not believe that a human of your heart walked the earth. The reflection of my light shines brightly in your eyes. You will be the first to enter the tomb of the Pharaoh. The right of entrance is yours. To your people, carry forth the knowledge of the past. Farewell, Master Builder. It was an honor to have you among us. Farewell. Master Builder, it was an honor to have you among us. Wise friend, it is a shame you have chosen to steal from the tomb which you so carefully constructed. We believe that you felt love and understanding for our people, not a desire for thievery. Uh, we have a way of punishing thieves like you. Unusually cruel, painfully slow. Uh, breathe deep. Snibbling, pathetic human. Now breathe again. The next breath you take will be your last.
see, young one, that you can be trusted with the treasures of Egypt. But I assure you, no treasure in that tomb can measure up to the honesty you have displayed. You have chosen the most honorable path. Well done, wise one. You have respected the possessions of the Pharaoh and the dignity of the afterlife. This pyramid will stand forever as a reflection of your lofty heart. Clearly, you walk along a righteous path. The most exciting thing about the product is working on a game where the point of the game is not about killing people or shooting down planes or blowing up boats. It's about learning of what existed in a time before we lived and learning a psyche of a people that we don't know anymore. It's about visiting a place that's almost alien to us and having to use the people and the tools in that place to solve problems. My favorite part of working on this project has got to be the mix of all these different medias. Not only are we working with sound and text on a computer, but we're also dealing with a special effects house, which is one of the first times this is happening in the multimedia industry. Hi. I'm Sean Jones. I'm character designer and lead animator for Pyramid. I think the most interesting challenge in the Pyramid project was getting that perfect balance between Egyptian stylization and regular cartoon stylization. I looked at a lot of Egyptian art and especially a lot of hieroglyphs and modeled after the extreme hieroglyphic stylization which is frontal on the torso and an extreme profile on all characters except for gods and royalty, which can look you in the eye. I'm Ari Schindler. I'm the technical director for the Pyramid Project. Uh, questions that might come to mind that I might have an answer to would be what it took to ship this product and uh, what sort of planning and organization we used. The approach that we decided to take was roughly equivalent to what the Egyptians decided to take in building a pyramid, in that we used vast amounts of labor, vast amounts of time, and uh, little or no forethought in terms of uh, who was going to get hurt along the way. Uh, with, res with, with respect to the experience of the people involved, uh, we started out with six months of experience on my part, and basically no experience on anybody else's part in the technical staff. 
that comes to two and a half weeks of average experience per, uh, per member of our crew. Hi, I'm Verna Harvey and I'm the line producer on Pyramid. I don't think even Piccadilly Circus in the rush hour with all of the lights malfunctioning could quite come up to the logistical nightmare Pyramid has been in keeping it on schedule and keeping track of all the files. Those include 18,000 animation files, 1,700 arc files, 1,600 dialogue files, and 500 sound effects and music elements. That's without the code. How do we do it? Well, we've amassed a terrific group of people, talented, hardworking, and committed, and you feed them well. Not like the ancient Egyptians. I don't think spring onions, bread, and ale will quite make it. You also have to distract them sometimes from the fact that they've only had four hours sleep the night before. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun. We've really had a good time with this, and we hope you have a good time playing with it. My name is Pam Spurtis. I'm the art director and lead artist on Pyramid. Here's how we created the background screens. Uh, we tried to make our background screens look very similar to the Dream Quest sets. As each level was completed at Dream Quest, Albert, David, and I went over to Dream Quest and took slides of all the backgrounds that we knew we would need according to our design document. We crawled around on our hands and knees, had to wear special little foam shoes as to not ruin the set, and we had to be certain that what we were going to do was going to be right because we were only going to have one shot at it. Then we would take those slides, put them on photo CD, composite them together in using Photoshop primarily, uh, we went in and we painted them, trying to get them a little less looking like a model, adding a little bit of our own touch to it, but at the same time making sure that it worked with what we had received from DreamQuest and what you would see in virtual flight. I came up with the instrumentation for the pyramid music by doing some research on traditional Middle Eastern sounds and attempting to recreate them with my synthesizers here in the studio. Also, you know, trying to provide more orchestral uh, ambient effects and sounds along with those instruments. The real challenge has been to try and find sounds in the actual computer that can sound like that. It's the most important thing I hope the music will bring to the product is an emotional through line from beginning to end. Also, uh, hopefully having the ability to entertain, to hold the user and provide an ambience of the period.
Zooms on the four different it's, people. It's, it's exactly. flash between all of us. <laughs> Hello, little chap.
I've always been fascinated by the mystery and, and uh, the grandeur of the pyramids in ancient Egypt. And to get a chance to do that in miniature uh, in a way that we can actually sort of get our hands on it is, is very interesting. It's also a lot of fun. You, you kind of feel when you're building these things that you're doing something that somebody else did 4,500 years ago. On the overall table, I think we had something like 50 or 60 each of several different kinds of tents, as well as about 45 or 50 individual buildings and maybe 300 palm trees. To finish off the landscape on the table, we covered the entire landscape with about three tons of sand. That was then dressed in around the pyramid, all the little structures. Uh, nothing looks like sand except sand. The most difficult technical element of this project was to interface the DreamQuest motion control system with the uh, different various techniques that we're using to grab the frames for displaying on the CD-ROM. So there's a lot of things that we're learning now that uh, we haven't had to in the past. We're applying everything we do know about making feature films and television movies, but uh, the technical aspects are actually quite different. I feel really good about the collaboration between DreamQuest and Knowledge Adventure. Um, I feel that we're working as a team, uh, not as uh, two separate companies. Uh, everybody's been really wonderful and we're all trying to solve the same problems together. When I first saw Pyramid, it took my breath away. I knew we wanted to publish it. What could be more fun for kids than building a pyramid? And in the process, they would learn about ancient Egypt, its culture, its people, and its technology. Education was the goal. Entertainment was the way to get there. The McGraw-Hill Home Interactive team was convinced that we could make pyramid into a product that would stand the test of time and lead to other exciting products. In quality assurance, we test the program by looking at the program code and by testing it for hours on end. Our major concern is looking at whether the program actually runs. And then our secondary and only a slightly lower level is, is this entertaining? Is this interesting? Is this going to hold someone's attention? Are they going to want to play this? The bottom line was Pyramid was a lot of fun for all of us. We. Uh, had a lot of fun playing with it. And the kids we had, uh, they just ate it up and they couldn't wait to come back the next time. As producer for McGraw Hill, I focused on making sure that this great product design lived up to its full potential. We focused on several key questions. Are the goals of the game clear? Are the puzzles the right difficulty? Does the dialogue make sense? Are there plenty of clues available? Are there lots of fascinating educational tidbits to discover? And most important, do the players enjoy the experience? When we could say definitely yes to all these questions, then we knew that the game was ready. <laughs>